hey there, everybody. What's going on, and how are you doing out there? And hey to the chat here on Twitch. Hope everyone is all right and well enjoying your day. And this is Dirty Gamer. I'm here on Fortnite for the new live item shop update for today, April 21st, 2023. 4, 2, 1, 2, 3. I'll take time to shout out and thanks to all my subscribers and followers. And if you are new to my channel or a new viewer, welcome to my lair. Showing your support by viewing, liking, thumbs up, sharing my videos takes just a button click, all without my content to be seen, and have those bell notifications turned on. All is appreciated. I have been uploading videos consistently. For those new to my channel and new viewers, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch. Both are free. I appreciate you all very much for doing that. Alright, so let's just take a look here at the shop. I'm going to do my quick click back and forth. Uh, Alright, so it looks like they brought back the In Space, uh, which is the Alien Bundle. For the Ripley and Xenomorph. Um, it's a pretty decent bundle, actually. Uh, let's take a look to see when this was last in the shop. I believe it's probably going to be within that usual time frame, about a month or so. As I've been saying before, between 20 to 60-something days. And look, 27 days ago. This thing was already here 27 days ago. So, it's 27 days ago, but, you know, it's, an, it's a decent enough bundle, but again, it's just kind of a copy and paste. So, the bundle itself is 2,200 uh, V-Bucks. So, let me just go through it, show you what we have in here. So, as you can see, it is a six item uh, with the built-in emote. So, you get the Xenomorph, which is in a really cool, really cool looking. I do like the alien. Uh, that's what I call really the alien of this duo here and then the tail which is separate which i find kind of interesting that the tail counts as a back bling i'm not quite sure why you would think the tail will be the default but it isn't then we have ellen ripley and there is actually two styles here's the default kind of reminds me a little bit of like a back to the future kind of look and then the nostromo crew kind of like more of the uh issue uniform here and then the Wayland Uteni Cat Carrier, as you can see, the cat will kind of pop up. It's not anim it, it is animated, but it doesn't say if it's reactive or not. I'm not sure if it just pops out randomly, or, but as you can see, there it is, kind of coming out. It's kind of funny. Then the Xeno Slurp loading screen. And this really cool emote, the Xeno Menace. So you can see there, it's a really good sound, too. Now, individually, uh, just to make you aware, the Xenomorph is 1,600, uh, Ripley's 1,500. Uh, they do have this separate Space Gear bundle, which is a little disappointing. It's a three-item bundle for 1,500. So let's go through that. There's the Burst Case Scenario emote. Kind of like instead of the alien coming out, it's a llama that comes out of your chest there, and you can pet it. So it's kind of funny that way. Then the P5000 power loader arm. You can see it's a bit tinny sounding, though, for something that's such a big arm. I'm not quite sure why. And then the Cheyenne dropship. The way it deploys. Uh, I don't know, 1500 for all three of those, I believe, is a little on the higher end. And then individually, the emote's 300 the glider's 12 and the tool is 800 Alrighty. So let's continue here. So this is another copy and paste item here with the Galaxy Pack. Um, I do recommend as I do own it, but it was last in the shop March 17th, so just a mere 36 days ago. It's a bundle for 2800 V V-Bucks, and it's four items. So here's the Galaxy Scout outfit. Again, really cool the way it looks like you're looking at stars in the galaxy. The Nucleus Backling also matches. So you can see it floats a little bit off. This is considered legendary. The Star Stardust Strikers tool. You get a real decent sound and that visual effect when you hit. And then the Celestia Glider. 
again, all matching, all really cool, really decent, uh, a blended, put together bundle. And then individually, the outfits 2000, the tools 1200, and then the glider is 800. Now, the Star Scout wrap, which I feel should be bundled, unfortunately is separate at 500, and I do recommend getting it. It is animated. You get a real nice animation here. Again, very well blended and matches the rest of the fit. That's why it doesn't really make sense why it is not bundled, and it definitely should be. All right, so we have the Singing Siren bundle here. So this actually debuted yesterday. Uh, it's a new bundle. Didn't get a chance to check it out yesterday, but we'll check it out today here. So it's a six-item bundle. It's for seventeen hundred. It's seven hundred uh, bought off individually. It does say there's reactivity to it. It doesn't say how or why. So here's the serenade outfit. I do like the colors and the iridescence they put on the outfit. I don't know, though, if I'm really much of a fan of the facial features and the fact that the hair is covering her face that much. I'd like a little more of this effect on the outfit, a little bit more. Maybe even with the left arm, because the left arm is exposed. But you see that real nice shine and iridescence. Reminds me of a couple of other uh, outfits I've had. Then you have this fluttering notes backling. It is very nice and colorful, I will admit. It does match the it does match the uniform. It's too bad it's not animated though, or some sort of reactivity to give a little more incentive. Then we have the C bound slasher tool. Now this slasher tool does look a lot very familiar to me um, from like a couple seasons ago because it looks very similar. And it actually sounds pretty similar. To like one of the other previous characters we've had it looks okay but unfortunately it's very tinny sounding so i'm kind of disappointed with the sound and then we have this overflow wrap it is reactive and you could see really great color scheme and you see when you tilt it you will get some iridescence on it as it's tilted let me shoot the weapon you can see what it looks like so see, it lights up in the front as well as on the uh, pattern of the weapon itself towards the first half, more so, I guess. And uh, just to make you aware, this apparently is a, uh, this whole bundle slash outfit's like a survey, something from like some sort of survey contest I was reading about. So kind of an interesting way this came apart about. All right, so there's also a music track included. So I'm going to take a quick pause. We'll listen to it together. It's the uh, Serenade Song. It's a bit muted and low. Actually, it's not bad. I actually do like the music. It's not bad. It's a little muted. And then we have the hypnotic gaze loading screen. Uh, the loading screen I'm a little bit disappointed with, especially when you consider the video they had for this. Um, but I will say this, there's a great value in this 1700 considering the outfit itself is 1200, the tools 5, as well as the wrap, and that music is 200. Uh, let me just see if it lets me play that video for this character. Yeah, this serenade. So I'm going to play this through so you can see what I'm talking about, how I thought there was going to be a little bit more to this serenade outfit. So we'll watch the video together. Thank you. 
So yeah, you can see what I mean. I thought it was going to get a little, a little bit more from that, but the music is really good sounding. I'll admit that. All right, so let's look at, let's get back to the shop here. Continue through. All right, the Sun Soldiers bundle. I'm pretty sure this is another copy and paste uh, repeat type bundle here. Last in the shop. Yep, March 20th, 33 days ago. So. Uh, six item bundle for 2400 1600 fought individually. Again, seen this several times before. Here's Sunbird, Default, No Mask, Moonhawk, Moonhawk Helmet Off. Then you have the Sunwings Back Bling, the Default, the Moon, the Sunrise Vider, which I do like the deploy. I do like the way it deploys, but I don't, it, there should be a second look to this. I'm not sure why there isn't. Then we have the Mesmer outfit here, Default. Trance, the Hypnotic Backlane, which curiously does have two looks, Default and Moon. Again, the inconsistencies never cease. And the Axe Tech tool, it's a, it's a bit chunky sounding for the uh, the contact there. And then individually, the, each outfit's 1,200, and the Glider and tool are 800 each. All right, now we're on to this. I'm not sure if it's Hackavat or Hassavat bundle. This was last in the shop February 27th at 54 days ago. Uh, four item bundle for 2,200 off. All right, let's take a look. So here's the default, and then the dark. You know, this a lot. This looks very familiar to like the caster. The caster outfit to me looks pretty similar. Then the crafted carrier backling. Default Corrupted Carrier. So it gives me kind of elfish vibes, I guess, of the look. Then the Tree Splitter Tool. Default and Tree and Rune Touch Tree Splitter. I like the color of that. It has a decent backswing. And then we have the Shadow Puppet Glider. Kind of basic. So you have two, at least you have two styles though, I guess. Default and Stygian Shadow Box. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this bundle. Then individually, the outfit's 1500 That glider at 1200 is significantly overpriced. Wow. And that tool's 500 All right, so on to the daily tab. We have the Magnus outfit for 2000 Wow, that's expensive. This was last in the shop January 30th at 82 days ago. So it's considered legendary, and I can already tell you off the bat, not my humble opinion. The Enduring Cape back bling, pretty basic. I think 2000 for that's way too much. The Bracer outfit for 800 Last in the shop on March 1st, which was 52 days ago. Pretty basic. And just one look. All right. Now we have the Stop Axe tool. Let's take a look. This was last in on uh, February 1st at 80 days ago for 800 So it's just a stop sign. I do like the backswing and the contact sound but not much in terms of visual pretty basic looking on to this rad emissions wrap for 300 last in the shop at hear this march 15th 2021 that's a pretty ludicrous 768 days ago so we're talking over two years ago that this was last in the shop and this is what they decided to bring us such a very plain boring wrap to me just that radioactive emblem type thing on the side no reactivity nor animations no incentive all right so we're on to the emotes so i'm going to take a quick pause and we'll play these through uh so we have the squat kick this is 800 this was last in a shop february 25th 56 days ago Am I the only one that doesn't think? I think 800 is way, way too much for that. Then the Waddle Away for 200 last in the shop February 22nd um, this year, which was 59 days ago. It's a, it's a traversal, so you're going to walk like this. I don't know. And then I think we've reached the repeat, recycled portion here. Copy and paste. Uh, we have the Mikasa and Levi bundles and gear bundles and items still here raccoon city survivors and stars team bundle and gear bundles also still here coachella is also still here uh just be made aware coachella the second week of that was today 
um, starting today if you're interested in those type of concert music things. I definitely recommend it. Uh, then the Kid Leroy bundles and items also still here. And by the way, there's also the quest which I'll go through and show you. You can actually get the XP if even though you've already watched this for this season. Um, but yeah, everything else looks to be the same. Zephyr's Locker, Special Offers and Bundles, Unchanged, Battle Pass, Fortnite Crew Stuff, and Crew Legacy Set. So yeah, we have here uh, one of your a pretty much majority copy and paste shop from yesterday. Uh, with only a couple of different things, but again, the literally like couple of different things are stuff that's not very interesting once again. So, in terms of my recommendations, I would say this cross comps pack, double agent pack, agency renegades pack, kiss click quest pack, the fractal zero wrap, and then you can see these numerous wraps here. Magma Constellation, Black by Itself, Black, Scanline, Splat, 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 Ripple, Galactic Spiral, Burning Glow. And then these emotes, a Jug Van, Copines, and then all the Kid Leroy bundles and items. The Fin Fin Flare Wrap. The Stars Team Gear Bundle and Regular Bundles. The Raccoon City Survivors Bundle. I'm thinking of this Titan Run Pack as well. And this Singing Siren Bundle. And the Galaxy Pack. As well as the Ripley and Xenomorph Bundle. Alright, so let me show you what I was talking about in regards to these quests which are broken on mine. Um, so let me show you specifically the Coachella quest. So I actually completed all of these already, but apparently there's a glitch and I don't know why where Epic Games resets people's progress. So even though I clearly completed like, what was it? Three or four last week and I did two today, I should have earned these two items but again, broken quests. So these Coachella quests are broken, and I'm curious to see how they're gonna, what if they're gonna do to make this right. And then the Kid Leroy's Wild Dreams, which again um, was previously uh, a season experience, you can actually do this again um, to get the XP, as you can see. So if you want some easy XP, 15 times 4, 60. All right, so you can get 90k in XP if you just do these quests, which I probably will do just to, like, level up. Curious to see how it's going to do for those bonus goals if you already earned those items. So just to make you aware about a broken quest and a quest previously offered that you can earn, again, the XP or the rewards if you didn't do those yet. All right, so that's going to do it there. So this has been Dirty Gamer for the uh, Fortnite new live item shop update for today, April 21st, 2023. 4 23 as well as going over the quests, including the broken Coachella quests and the repeat of Kid Leroy. So let me know if you're interested. Are you planning on purchasing anything from the shop update? And uh, what? how are you feeling about this update and the latest quests? Did you or someone you know have a birthday? Shout out comments or questions. You can answer any and all by dropping a comment. Liking up, thumbs up, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos all without my content to be seen from my YouTube channel, Dirty with Two Rs Gamer. Have those bell notifications turned on. I also live stream on Twitch. Take comments, questions, get birthdays, and shout outs, which I'm doing here. And please follow me, also free. And join my live streams and chatting gaming sessions at the username Dirty with Two Rs underscore Gamer. For super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link. All right, well, that's going to do it. Later to all and to the chat here on Twitch. Let's keep supporting, networking, and growing together. Get your game on and your game dirt here. Please don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. All is appreciated.